Five minutes of valuable dive time are wasted waiting for the silt to clear. When it does, we realise we're sitting on top of the wreck. Now I can see giant hull timbers, but the slightest touch sends silt billowing upwards and we're engulfed again. Then, danger. Unable to see each other, our cables have become tangled. Should any of us suffer equipment failure now, a life-saving dash for the surface would be impossible. We are forced to abort the dive. Okay, Ed is leaving for them. Now, Jason and I have lost sight of Ed. Our 40 minutes are nearly up and dive supervisor Guy is worried. Can you see Ed 